What is up guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you another fishing location on Red Dead Online. Currently we are just above Owangila Lake and as you can see there's quite a few people around here all around this whole area. I did not fast travel from Tumbleweed or St. Denis. If you want to do that definitely in fact definitely do that to avoid any of these people because there is a good chance that I will be greased by one of them as you probably saw from last video. But once you come to this location just here this is the, sort of the river that goes down to Owangila Lake, um, but right here you can go and get yourself some salmon. And salmon, if you didn't know, goes for a decent amount of money. They go for $2.50 per salmon, which means if you get yourself a full satchel worth, which is not too hard, you'll be making yourself $25. Now, there's some already here. We've been waiting here for quite a while. In fact, not that long. We've been waiting here for like a minute, and then I did the intro, which is what, taking like a minute now. And uh, fish have spawned in. We've got like a, a couple here. It looks like we may have like four or five, but we've already caught ourselves one salmon which is pretty decent and that is pretty much all you need to do for this method come to this location make sure that there's no one else around otherwise you will be griefed and then get your fishing rod make sure you have bait something like worms or crickets something like that and then just throw your fishing rod in now all the way up this lake all the way up there's some good stuff you can go and get yourself some rock bass i think up here there is also sometimes it's a lot rarer these days it used to be so often when the, this game first came out there used to be a cougar right on this location now i will go and double check that at the end of this uh, this method um but i don't think we're gonna get it's it's extremely rare these days there used to be cougars like everywhere but now they've been completely nerfed they're not as expensive as what they once were and also so uh, they're, they're just they're just not seen that often, which is kind of weird. It, they've become rarer, but they've also gone down in price, which is very unfortunate. I chucked my fishing rod in the complete wrong place there. There's actually one real close to shore there. I, I sort of rushed to go and get that one that I think I missed it. Yep. So what you might have to do is uh, gradually go down. Like I said, these fish will swim up and down. But you want to make sure you're in a good location. Now, we've also got, and I think we have some pickerel spawning in here. Now, pickerel, they go for a dollar each, so it's still pretty decent. Uh, but we are still trying to focus on trying to get that salmon. And I don't think we got one there. Unfortunately, I feel like we might have a pickerel. And yes, we are right. We did get a pickerel there. You want to try going for the salmon. Salmon goes for $2.50, whereas pickerel, only $1. So if you're going to catch a fish, you might as well want it to go and be uh, a bit of salmon. Now, there are a ton of fish that spawn in, and this does happen with this method. It's a weird location, this. Uh, sometimes, when you go to a fishing spot, and you know fish spawn in there, as soon as you bring, in fish, uh, bring out your fishing rod, there is a lot of fish that spawn in. With this one, you come over, and there's about four or five different salmon. You go and fish there for a bit, and then all of a sudden, a ton of other fish will spawn in. Fish that uh, you didn't really expect to see here, which is insane, but there was a lot there, a lot, a big amount of fish just spawned in with this method just here, and we go and get ourselves another salmon. So that's all you wanna do for this method, is just keep on fishing at this spot. I would probably spend about 10, 15 minutes at this spot, trying to get as many fish as possible. As you can see, there's still quite a few there. Still, You can still see the bubbles, some there as well as here. But let me just show you the spot again. This spot is just here between Owangila and also this Cougar location. Now, I'm gonna head up here, but the fact that there's already people up there makes me think that there may not be a Cougar, as well as they've either taken it or the cougar just didn't spawn in and they're trying to get the cougar for themselves but we're gonna go and definitely go and check up there to see if the cougar spawns in if you really want to link this method to a route like i said there's quite a few methods around here already you could go and shoot all the birds all the different animals that you come across you'll get rabbits down here uh, there's a uh, there's quite a lot of different animals around this spot over here uh, but we're going to go and quickly go to this other end, see if there's a cougar that spawns in. I'll show you the location. Please do not shoot me. Thank you, buddy, for not shooting me. But normally, you'll have a cougar that spawns over here. And I feel like this guy is going to look for it. If not, he's gone to shoot something else. But normally, you'll get a cougar sort of laying about here. It is rare. It is extremely rare nowadays. 
uh, but you can still have a chance of getting a cougar. But now we are going to go and head back to Strawberry just to show you what everything sells for and uh, just, just go to the butchers and then sell everything. And the journey itself will take about a minute or two to get there. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so we are back in Strawberry. Now we're not going to have too much to sell, but I just wanted to show you the types of fish that you'll be getting in this area. And uh, no, do not. Oh my God, I nearly just chucked a stick of dynamite at the butcher. That would have been bad. But a sockeye salmon, that is what you want to be focusing on obviously i said we haven't got too much fish if i was doing this method for real i would have spent about 15 maybe 20 minutes somewhere around that maybe even 10 who knows uh trying to get as many fish as possible these are the main two that you'll be getting i think you can get a full satchel of both of those within 15 maybe 20 minutes uh, so you should be able to make yourself about 35 dollars which is actually pretty decent amount and you could probably do that maybe two or three times within an hour going as a trip over there so the sockeye salmon that will be going for two dollars fifty cents that is what you want to be focusing on and a chain pickle will only be going for a dollar but it all adds up to a decent amount of profit if you're going to spend a good amount of time over there but anyway guys that is just a quick method i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now i'm going to see you